I think for me, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 is the first Winnie the Pooh thing that I ever saw. Certainly it's the thing I remember watching most abundantly as a child. And I also had the Disney Grolier Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 book. So when I think about this, sometimes I think of the animated short TV episode or short film. Sometimes my mind pictures the illustrations in the book. But if you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh and you haven't seen the illustrations, definitely check the book out. They're very similar to the animation, but they're absolutely gorgeous. This was released originally in 1974, directed by John Lansbury. And you can also watch this in The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I don't think Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 is on Disney Plus as a separate thing, but it's one of the three films in the anthology The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which definitely is on Disney Plus. And in this episode, um, Tigger is bouncing around, bounding and having fun, fun, fun. And <laughs> Rabbit, Piglet and Pooh are a little bit fed up with him. So they decide they're going to make him bounce off. And they decide to take him into the woods or into the forest. They're going to take him on a very long walk. And the plan is that he will stop bouncing. And unfortunately, things go very wrong because they actually get lost and they keep walking around and around noticing the same sand pit again and again and I love the illustration of that sand pit and the animation as well but it's definitely the illustration of the sand pit that I see and I think it's beautifully done there is obviously this little sense of fear that they're wandering around and around in circles but it's not what I would consider a scary episode like say their Halloween specials which may make some more timorous children a little bit more afraid. It's definitely not got that kind of tense atmosphere. Um, but but there is an element of how are they going to get free? How are they going to get out? And Tigger bounces off a little bit discouraged and things don't go very well for Tigger. I won't say how exactly, but I will say it's a real character development for Tigger because he learns that you have to sometimes not pretend to be brave and not afraid there's a line of this tickers are not afraid of anything um but of course everybody is afraid of something i think there are a lot of things that young viewers can learn from this one it's a fun story it's very well animated i, I think it's really beautifully executed brilliant voice cast of course with um, sterling holloway as winnie the pooh definitely for me one of the most iconic winnie the pooh shorts or episodes within a film definitely a lot of fun if you haven't seen it and you're a winnie the pooh fan or if you don't remember if you've seen it definitely check it out as part of the anthology it's the third one in the anthology and actually with the many many adventures of winnie the pooh there's new material or what was new at the time i think it was released in 77 where it um transitions between this segment and the previous one which would have been winnie the pooh and the blustery day but the other one in it is winnie the pooh and the honey tree and there's some new material where it's uh, transitions between it and there's some dialogue between Pooh and the narrator. It's definitely worth checking out. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, for me, definitely the most iconic Winnie the Pooh 